It's time to prepare your mind for prosperity. Hi there everyone, Fiji Adam here with the Success Brain Training. This is lesson 5 in module 1. Would you want to learn 10 ways to think like a winner? If so, let's get into it. Having come with me this far in the Success Brain Training, you are now better able to weather adversity and keep your head up. Because knowing the value of your mindset and the use of positive thinking has made your mindset even stronger. You see, winners have a different mindset than the rest of the population. So, by adapting a similar mindset, you can expect more spectacular results. Have you heard the saying, attitude is everything? This adage reveals a great truth. The perspective you take in any situation ultimately determines the outcome. So, if you're hoping to bring prosperity into your life, it's important to learn to think like a winner. Now, how can you acquire the mindset of a winner? I encourage you to try these strategies. One, acknowledge that you are human. You are fallible because you're human. So rather than seeking perfection, strive to attain the abundance that presents itself to you. Second strategy, know what you want. Be specific about what you're trying to accomplish. As an example, if you're running a marathon, perhaps your goal is to complete the race or to finish and not be in the last position. Third strategy, aim high, but not too high. Using the marathon example, if you're running a marathon for the first time, you could aim to finish in the top half of the group. <laughs> Not bad, right? Fourth strategy, remember to set yourself up, I mean, refuse to set yourself up for failure. Setting an unrealistically high expectation is strategically not the best plan. If you lack experience or expertise in something, so rather than saying, I'm going to be number one, say, I'm so proud of myself for going after my dreams. As long as I complete this task, I am a winner. How about that? Strategy number five, embrace compliments from others. Do you usually shrug off kind words from others? If so, it's time to recognize that most of us don't go out of our way to praise another unless you're quite impressed with something they did, right? So when you prosper, people take note of it and often comment about it. Accept the praise, accept the compliment from others with open arms and keep the good work, and keep, the, keep up the great work, right? Number six, do a personal inventory. Take stock of when you've been the most prosperous in your life. What are your major successes? What have you done well? What are you the most proud of? Strategy number seven, remind yourself of your positive character traits. You need to spend some time making the connection between who you are and the abundance you've already received in your life. Strategy number eight, recognize prosperity comes in all flavors. So although money is a nice way to show notice of your stellar performance, you can also prosper in other ways. You might get more perks at work. Maybe you'll be recognizing your field by getting an award. Or perhaps you'll become the go-to person whenever people are facing a challenge. Recognize all this. Strategy number nine. See the power you have in your own life. When you take responsibility to traverse life's challenges on your own terms, you feel you truly feel your own strength because you will prosper when you step up and make the decision to prosper. Now for tip number 10. Find the success in your daily actions. However a situation concludes, learn to consider your actions and what you did well. After a particularly challenging event, take some time to determine the positive aspects of the experience. For example, if you submitted a project plan to your boss, 
that in itself is something to feel good about. Don't wait for the results before you celebrate. Even if your boss ultimately went to a different plan, you gain work experience in the process. You talk up to something you and follow through, right? And your boss will remember those things. Ultimately, you will prosper in some way from the experience. You see, what you believe about yourself and the situation before it occurs determines whether you will reap the benefits of that situation. So, prepare your mindset for prosperity by thinking like a winner. You live the prosperous life of your dreams, I promise. Do you expect a lot from yourself? I think you will after the next session because we'll explore the power of raising your expectations. Now, I need you to get started on the tip in this lesson. You'll find that YouTube is full of useful information. Think of any two other famous and successful people in addition to this channel, right? And find videos on their tips for success. Watch a few of them and think about ways you can incorporate their ideas into your own life. Try to notice the similarities in philosophy between the three people you chose. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. Bye-bye.